Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Pleasure to see you. Pleasure to see you. Good Okay, here we go. Welcome back. It is a pleasure to see you again. I apologize for the, for yesterday because, well, you already know what happened, no? Okay, but here we go. Today, we are going to continue with the classes and we are going to develop the topic for today. I hope that all of you feel really nice today, okay? After a short vacation, we are here again. Can you hear me? Yes? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Yes. I was really worried because I didn't get any answer. There are a lot of silence. Yes, I don't know why. <laughs> we are timid. Ah, oh, okay. You are shy. Shy. We are shy. Yes. Yes, of course. Okie dokie, here we go. Sure. Hello, sir. Are there some difference between shy and timid? Mm. How can I ex how can I explain you? Let, let, let me think. Let me think because uh, sometime we try, uh, we just relay the words as we have it in Spanish. And at the end, I consider that uh, the meaning is the same because both of them are adjective. Okay. But maybe we can find uh, some different. 
Also, we can say that uh, someone who is shy looks uh, forward to interact with other, even though they know it is difficult. Whereas uh, someone who is timid does not necessarily look forward to any novelty in their life, you know? Could be too. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, let us see the, the attendance now. Okay, here we go. Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz. Bautista? Present teacher, good evening. Okay, welcome. Escobar? Present. Claudia Raquel? Present. Francis? Present teacher. Welcome. Teacher, I, I am sick. Excuse me? Okay. I am sick. I saw you are man. You, you are sick. Yes. Uh -huh. Six. Ah. And then I don't participate in the class. Oh, okay. You don't feel well. Okay. Okay. Like teacher, try, try to be connected. Teacher, I, have, I have a question. He, okay. I can I can repeat the model. Let me see you. Okay, could you repeat the question, please? Este puedo repetir este <coughs> puedo repetir este módulo, teacher. Oops, how can I? Tendría que comunicar con ellos. Yes, Oscar. They are mm -hmm. the ones. They are mm -hmm. the ones that they are going to give you all the direction that you need to follow in order to do that. Mm -hmm. Ok, teacher. Es que me mandaron ya la documentación para inscribirme y ni siquiera he estado conectada en este para inscribirme en el siguiente. Oh. Ok, um, I'm going to make a parenthesis. Uh, maybe I'm going to tell you in Spanish. Eh, si les, ya les llegó eh, una información a través del grupo de WhatsApp y es bien enfático porque uh, deben de tener el 80% de asistencia uh -huh. y, as, y asimismo el desarrollo de las actividades en la plataforma. Eh, un día de esto voy a actualizarle ya el cuadro de notas. Espero que ya tengamos realizadas las actividades, al menos hasta la número 10. Y esta sería la 11. O oh, uh -huh. let me see. Sería la 10 esta, sí. Uh -huh. Déjeme mirar, aquí lo tengo en, el, en, en, en mi presentación. Sinceramente, dicho, yo ni en la plataforma me he metido por tantas cosas que hemos tenido. Sí, sí. Pero, pero, ¿de qué me sirve también meterme a la plataforma? Hacer algo ahí sin, si no he visto nada. Tal vez con el conocimiento que yo tenga, puedo, puedo resolver algo, pero no, no sí, es pero lo mismo. Pero también están los vídeos donde usted puede reforzar los temas que tal vez no vio. Eh, cada uno de ustedes haga sus números referentes a las asistencias. Eh, ya saben eh, cuántas inasistencias son las que pueden tener. 
Entonces, uh, en base a eso, es de, es de ir manejando la situación. Algo que se le, les explicaron es muy claramente al inicio, considero. Así es que tomarlo en cuenta, por favor, please take into account all those instructions that you got at the beginning of the, the module. And that way you are going to succeed at the end, okay? Thank you, teacher. Is that correct? Okay. Teacher. Somebody wants to ask me? Okay. okay. Analicia. <laughs> Solamente que no me mencionó después de Ana Beatriz. Yes, yes. I I'm going to do that again. Okay. Let me see. Solamente. Ana Beatriz, is there? No. Yes, Oscar, I mentioned your name, Ana Lilian. Sí, Ana Lilian, sí, soy yo. Okay. Francis is there and Galileo is there too. Hello, Galileo, are you there? Here, yes. Here I am. Here I am, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Jonathan. Jonathan. It's not here. Rodrigo. It's not here too. Uh, Juan Carlos. Present. Okay, welcome. Laura. Present teacher. Okay. Maria Concepcion. Present. Okay, okay. Maria Elena. Maria Elena. Maria Elena. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Okay. Miguel Ángel. Present. Welcome. Zaira. Present teacher. Misael. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny. Present Hi. teacher. I'm here. Jenny, Jenny. Hello, hello. <laughs> okay, Yesenia, Lisette. Lisette. Diego. Diego. Brian. Present teacher. Oh, okay. Teacher. Present teacher, Diego. Diego is here too, okay. And Lisette is not here? Yesenia? Yesenia. Okay, we got 18. Let me see. Tengo problemas con el audio. María Elena Guadalupe. Ah, ok. Traté de resolver ahí porque necesito la asistencia. Ok, María Elena Guadalupe. Is present. But is having problem. With the microphone. Ok. Okay, uh, before uh, before to continue, I don't know if you, somebody else have another question related with with the module. If you have any question yet, let me know, please. If I can help you, I'm going to do it. If I don't have the answer, I'm going to ask. And later on, I'm going to tell you. But communication is really important in this process. 
No question at all. Okay. Well, yesterday you have a shared vacation because I have a problem you already know. And the power just uh, came until today morning. Okay, let us start talking. I'm going to show you the material that we have. Today we are going to talk about transition words like in addition, furthermore, moreover, and besides. But first, I would like to show you again. Let me see here. Do you remember? This is the conversation that we study. And I need that you see the way that we use these words. Take a look. Just take a look. Okay, now that you have seen the way that we use it, let me move it a little bit. Okay, we are going to start talking about how to use transition of addition. In this case, we are going just to talk about only, um, well, the beginning, only about uh, four words. How we are going to use it. But, but also maybe we need to know what is a, a transition where in order that you can understand exactly in context what we are going to see here. Of course, that you already have heard this word in addition, far more, moreover, and besides. That we are going to use it to add information, reinforce ideas, and express agreements with ideas that had been presented previously. In a sentence, we we have an example here. We we work with targeted or random samples. It is, uh, in this case, uh, is uh, a question. In addition, we need to discuss who will be hosting each group and the location of each. And the letter B, furthermore, it is necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. And we, uh, we have the letter C, in order to select a focus group to test the product, it is important to gather a group of participants who made uh, direct use of the final product or service. Moreover, it is necessary to choose a moderator for every group. What we are going to do right here, okay, First of all, we are going to pay attention about punctuation. Notice that the transition in addition and far more in A and B are preceded, preceded by a question mark and a period and followed by a comma. You need to take into account all this aspect. 
In C, the transition, moreover, is preceded by a semicolon and followed by a comma. Let us see that. Let me move a little bit. Okay. Take a look at the example A and B first. And you are going to see that the words addition and far more, they are preceded by a question mark and a period and follow, followed by a comma. In this case, we need to put it immediately after the word. And let us see the transition, moreover, is preceded by a semicolon and followed by a comma. Right here is the semicolon, and right here we have the, the comma, right? But in order that we can understand, what we are going to do, let me switch a little bit and show you something that maybe is going to be uh, more clear about this. Let me see, I'm going to show you this. Okay. Let me see right here. Okay, we have a question. Who wants to read it? And later on, I'm going to read again in order that you can get. Uh... Me, teacher. Okay. What are transitions and how are they used? Okay. Transition words and phrases. Uh -huh. okay. uh, phrases help make clear connections between ideas and see that sentences and paragraph flows together smoothly, making them easier to read. Okay, making them easy to read, okay. Okay, that means that this word are going to help us to make clear connection between ideas. That, that is the, the main purpose. And we need to have a clear what we wanna do. Between ideas and see the sentences and paragraph flow together smoothly making them easier to read. Okay. Let us see the next one. Somebody wants to read? Me, teacher, Lillian. Okay, Lillian. Transition word. Provide more information. Provide an example. Provide a cause or reason. Provide a result or an effect. Provide a purpose or reason. Provide a comparison or contract. Provide a sequence, provide a summary, provide a conclusion. Okay, all, all that kind of information give us the transition words. Right now we are uh, seeing it uh, in a general way. But the, the main purpose at the end is gonna be uh, the fair line, provide more information. I mean in addition, right? And also we can have a cause of reason, result, or an effects. Different way.
In our material, we only have uh, like a four words. But right here, you can see that uh, we can have more than four transition words that provide more information, like besides, furthermore, in addition, indeed, in fact, moreover, second, third, and so on. But in order to use it, as I told you at the beginning, we need to know exactly uh, at least the meaning of how we are going to use it in a sentence. And then we are going to apply the rule that we have in the material, okay? But before to go to the next slide, I, I would like to hear you. Uh, somebody wants to give me an example of how to use besides. Give me a sentence in using that word. I know that you have in your mind how to use it. Or choose the word that you want and tell me a sentence using it. Me, teacher. Okay, tell me, sir. Uh, for example, uh, uh, beside. Okay. Hello? You listen to me? Go ahead, sir. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, I need uh, two orange, two need uh, two tomatoes, Beside near to banana. Okay. Okay, remember that, uh, yeah, uh, we say at the beginning we are going to use it in order to add more information about would be another you know, idea or something like that, okay? What about um, in addition, how you can use in addition? Okay, don't worry, let, uh, later on you are going to do it. Let, let us see the... What we have here. We also have a transition word that provide an example. You can say, for example, for instance, in particular, particularly, specifically to demonstrate, to illustrate. Different way, okay? But let, let us make a general uh, concept about this and later on we are going to go deeper in the way that the material said, okay? Okay, something that can provide cause or reason, as, because, cause of, due to, for, for the reason that, and sin. Well, we, we can have a lot of words, but let us focus in our attention in the words that we need to see in the topic, okay? Let me share it this place. Okay, hold on there.
Okay, right here you can see that we have a, a lot of words, transitional words or phrases that show the relationship between paragraph or section of a text or a speech. And you can see a lot of words there. And I need that you get familiar with all those words. I got uh, like uh, 40 words, I guess. But don't worry, in this case, uh, today we are going just to focus our attention in, on, in four, only just in four of it, okay. Okay, I need a volunteer who wants to read it. I don't know if you can see it very well, or maybe you don't, you need that I get bigger. It is possible to see it. Yes, teacher. Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Diego. Okay. In addition, additionally, in addition and additionally are used to give more information about something. When you write a formal essay, essay, essay you should not start a sentence with a word and you can often use in addition or additionally instead of and for example i study journalism in college in addition i had a party part-time job at a newspaper i joined to the guitar club and the match club in school in addition, additionally, I went on a camping trip with the debate team. Debate, debate. Debate, gracias, teacher. Debating. Okay, I guess that uh, the concept is really clear how you, you can use it. This is the simple way how to use it. I need that you... Uh, that, that you take a look at the example that we have here and I'm going to give you some time in order that you can create your own. At least two examples. Teacher. Hello, sir. What is the difference uh, between addition and add? And? The difference between addition, addition and 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 n. Yes. Okay. In simple words, what I can tell you is that um, when when we are going to connect some uh, ideas, we can use connector like the word n. But in this case, for example. When we are talking to add more information, uh, we can use the word addition in order to show exactly that we are going to add more information. Because in a in a in a written way, when we uh, we we have we have it here, when you write a formal essay. It's gonna be better to use it this word instead of n. I don't know if it is clear what I'm saying to you. Yes, teacher. Thank you. That is better to have uh, this word right here instead of say n. Instead of say I studied journalism in college and I have a part-time job in a newspaper. Looks better if you use this kind of words. 
because remember that at the moment that you write uh, a formal essay, uh, you need to have clear that it's gonna be better to use this kind of word because this is, uh, it looks like very simple, you know? Okay, teacher. Okay, let me see what else we have here. Okay, I'm, I'm going to wait. Okay, tell me. Um, y puede explicarlo nuevamente porque tengo la idea de lo que está diciendo, pero no me queda muy claro. Okay. Si lo explica en español, por en favor. Español, en español y a colores. Okay, let us do it in Spanish. But remember, this is a uh, intermediate level. Okay, hold on a second. I need to get bigger. To get bigger the... The picture. Ok, lo que estamos diciendo o la pregunta que hacía el compañero era cuál era la diferencia entre la palabra uh, addition and end. Eso fue lo primero. En la explicación que da el texto que estoy compartiendo, habla y dice que cuando usted escribe eh, una, una composición ¿sí? formal, es mejor usar en la palabra addition como un transition en vez de usar a la palabra en como un conector para agregar más información. ¿Por qué? Porque eh, la palabra addition al final eh, se usa como, como algo más formal, podría decirse de esa manera para que se entienda quizás a más claro, ¿no? Al final, al cuerpo de, 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 la, de la composición le da eh, como mayor vistosidad y mayor formalidad. No sé si me comprende. Hola. Hola. Se pueden usar las dos, pero es sí. más formal usar en adición. Se pueden usar las dos en, las en, dos, en, en una forma eh, como coloquial, por ejemplo. Pero en el caso, por ejemplo, de nosotros que estamos viendo eh, inglés para el trabajo y que habrá que hacer eh, algunos eh, documentos muy formales. Es necesario eh, hacer uso específicamente de las palabras que estamos mirando en vez de las que nosotros comúnmente conocemos. Creo que por ahí sí me, me va comprendiendo mejor. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Ok. Okay, let me share the next one, please. Hold on here. But I, I would like to, to hear your example in order to be sure that you are understanding the way that we are going to use uh, this, these words. Right, want to say something? For example, I could say uh, I have I, I, ha I have a bachelor degree in English. In addition, I have studied business administration too. Okay. Uh, clear? Sir. And 
In short words, uh, this means that in addition, and additionally, to replace the word N. Yeah, we could, we could say in that way. Yeah, okay. very simple. I got it. Okay. I need your example in order to see that you are in the right way. Just tell me, don't worry about it. You can uh, relate it with your job, with your I am, career. I am a quality control center manager. Okay. In addition, I check the truck drivers too. Oh, okay, excellent. That is nice. This is a very clear example. Somebody else? Hello. For example, um, I have prepared the, the lessons for the more, the activities and homeworks. Ah, okay. I got it. Somebody else? Maybe it's not clear. Okay, I'm going to show you something else in order to clarify your ideas. Let me clarify it, okay? Okay, just adding information. In addition, may be said to be the most neutral and least assertive of the three expressions. Talking about the, uh, the, the another two words. It is used mainly just to add one piece of information on a subject to another piece of information on the same subject. Talking about furthermore, that's the same scene, but it is more em emphatic in tone. It sends out a little bit stronger signal to the listener or reader that said, stay with me. There is more that you need to know. Do you understand uh, this expression? Stay with me. There is more that you need to know. Hello? Hello. Okay, who wants to read this? Me, sir. Okay, go ahead, sir. The new state park will open next June with numerous hiking trails to explore. In addition, a boat marina is being constructed at the north end of the lake. All okay. residents, okay. 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 I... Uh, is enough, teacher? Right now, because uh, we need to discuss the, uh, this one okay. first. And I later on, we, we can continue. I got it. Okay, okay. But what I need is that you take a look at the sentence and try to understand the function of the word addition. Just read it and try to, to see the way that this word is working there. Related with the previous 
what I said previous, right? Somebody want to say something about it? I guess not, sir. <laughs> okay, necesito que, por favor, eh, lo que no comprendamos, necesito que eh, vayamos preguntando porque eh, es muy importante tener claro el uso de estas palabras. Ahora, si no, si no comprendemos, eh, no estoy diciendo que van a entender al 100% el significado de toda la oración. Aunque debería de serlo, pero si no, deberían de sacar como una idea más principal de qué es lo que nos está diciendo eh, la primera parte. ¿Qué es lo que sucederá de acuerdo a la primera oración? ¿Qué es lo que dice? Uh, one part will be open uh, in the June month. This part will, will have a lot of hikings to explore. Okay. Uh, and then? In addition, uh, one, uh, one boat marina is like a, like a little port, little port. Yes. One boat marina. It's constructed, uh, it's, it's so literally, <laughs> it's so literally, literally. What one boat marina is constructed at the same time. That with, they are doing, that they are constructing the park, right? Yeah, at the same time when the state park will be open. Okay. Alguien que me diga en español lo referente a la primera oración, necesito estar seguro de que estamos entendiendo lo que estamos hablando. Yo sé que sí se comprende. Para que después se nos haga más fácil el uso de esas palabras. Hey, teacher. Hola. Hey. Galileo again. El nuevo parque estatal será abierto el próximo junio con numerosos senderos para explorar. Para explorar, ok. Además, o, o adicional, adicional, una, un pequeño puerto o algo, sí, un pequeño un puerto de, de botes como velero o algo así. Eh, se está empezando a construirse eh, en el norte al final del lago al, eh, al norte al final del lago ok Or, I, ok, thank you uh, let me do this uh, ok Ok, en otras palabras, en español, en otras palabras lo que estamos haciendo es que estamos agregando información extra, pero referente al mismo tema, ¿sí? Así, de fácil, de simple, de sencillo. Se está construyendo el parque y al mismo tiempo se está construyendo eh, algo adicional, ¿sí? pero que no se podía mencionar en la primera oración, porque el, el punto principal era el parque. ¿Se comprende? Ok, now, based on that, 
Bueno, well, let us see the next example. Veamos los siguientes y luego me dan sus ejemplos. Porque quiero que, que, que apliquemos lo que estamos mirando. Ok, who wants to read the, the, the second one? Me, teacher. Okay. All residents are advised to evacuate the buildings. And the building. Okay. Children, uh, they are advised not to return to their homes until city officials say it is safe to do so. Hmm. Eso en español también, no. If you want, you can say it in Spanish in order that uh, somebody has menos, some dog can get them. Más o menos lo que entendí es que todos los residentes fueron notificados para evacuar el edificio. Además, Um, se les avisará regresar a sus casas una vez los oficiales les digan que es seguro hacerlo. Así. Por ahí. Ok, very simple. Very simple as that. I am continue, teacher. The next. With the next example, I don't know if somebody have any questions apart from here. All residents are advised to evacuate the building. Furthermore, they are advised not to return to their homes until the city official said it is safe to do so. Very clear. Question? No teacher. No question. Okay, uh, somebody continue with the next example. I am continue. If you want, okay, go, go ahead. India is one of the most populous countries of the world with the three official languages and numerous other spoken. Most of the population um, are adherents of Indians. So there is a large Muslim minority. Furthermore, a small but significant percentage of Indians are Christians and, and no sé cómo se pronuncia. Six. Six. Which were? La última, después de Christians and. And so. Okay, uh, right here, this is a, a, a long, could be paragraph in order that you can see how we can uh, add more information about it, you know? And this were adherent, adherent, what Hindu is, okay? And Muslim minority. Try to try to read it in order that you can get a, a better idea. Indian in one of the most popular countries of the world with three official languages, languages. And numerous other spoken. Most of the population are adherent of Hinduism thought there is a large Muslim minority. Right here, we have an idea, okay? Hasta ahí tenemos eh, una idea que la India es uno de los países 
más populosos del mundo, con tres idiomas oficiales y con muchos más que se hablan dentro de ese país. A la mayoría de personas eh, o sea, están inherentes al hinduismo, por lo tanto uh, hay como una cantidad pequeña de, de, de musulmanes, se podría decir en ese caso. Luego aparece ya la palabra Padmo, como añadiendo eh, más información, a small but significant percentage of Indian. Además, una pequeña, un pequeño pero significado porcentaje de indios son cristianos, ¿sí? Y luego eh, se agrega también a la otra parte que sería, sería lo, lo, los... Uh, la religión esa, pues, que para nosotros no es tan conocida, ¿cierto? That we call it Sikh. And then we have, we have a, a, a better idea that in India, um, they have different, different religions. I don't know if it is clear this last example. And now, uh, how we can create, let us, I'm going to stop sharing this. Let us think in the first words that we, that we study. and try to create a sentence using it. Maybe it could be related to your duties in your job or something like that. Pero necesitamos primero crear a uh, una oración, un ejemplo relacionado con la primera palabra que hemos visto para que después nos vayamos ya a, a usar las demás. No tratemos de complicarnos mucho. Teacher, Hola. I have someone troubles in the beginning and I don't know who is the first word. Ah, uh, in addition. In addition, okay. In addition. Uh, maybe teacher, I, I work in sales, but I have, in addition, I have knowledge to accountant. Ah, okay. Okay. Very simple as that. Okay, somebody else? Me, teacher. Wendy. I send emails. In addition, I answer WhatsApp. I answer the phone. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, easy. Me, teacher, Escobar. Okay, Escobar. We are studying in English at night. In addition, in the morning, we have to do homework. Oh, okay. Homework. Okay. Okay, somebody else? You see, it's really easy. Sometimes when we read uh, a lot of rules, we complicate. But at the moment that we put in practice, it's better. Who wants, somebody else wants to share uh, his or her example? Yeah. 
and I need to be sure that all of you uh, are going are, are getting the, the, the right way because at the end you are going to create your own conversation with somebody else using these words. And teacher, the idea I am a visual uh, at a shopping, a dictator, a compra, a Okay, repeat, repeat again, please. I am, I am a visual uh, at a shopping. Okay. Dígamelo en español, veamos cómo le ordenamos. Ah, uh, soy adicta a las compras. Ir de compras. Ok. No sé si sería así como lo dijo. Hay que corregir. Sí, porque, porque si dice que es adicta a las compras, hasta ahí tenemos como, como una idea. Luego necesitamos agregarle algo más. Sería. I'm shopaholic. In no. addition. Oh, yeah. <laughs> soy adicta a las compras. Además. Sí. Yes. Tiene que agregarle algo que tenga que ver con con la adicción a las compras. Ay, no sé. No realmente escuché. <ríe> bueno, piense, piense. Ok, son variados. Maybe she can say in addition, I have many shoes. But we need a previous idea. With the, my partner, uh, he said. Ah, ah, I got it, I got it. You are, you, okay, but I need that you tell me the, the, the whole idea. Idea here. And, oh, and me, I can say in my job, I evaluate many child in addition, I um, give uh, nutritional education her mothers. Okay. Por ahí, por ahí, por ahí, por ahí. Okay, remember that um, you are going to use this word in order to add more information related with the previous idea that you have, okay? It is like when you go to the doctor, uh, he advises us and tell us, okay, uh, if you want to be in a good health, you need to eat well. And in addition, you need to practice a spur. You need to drink a lot of water and so on, you know? Okay, somebody else, somebody else. Okay, let me check the attendance now, please. En lo que ustedes piensan, yo reviso la asistencia. Que ahorita necesito que piensen, que creen sus propios ejercicios. Relacionados a su campo de trabajo, puede ser. De una manera simple y sencilla, sin complicaciones. Ana Beatriz, are you there? No. Tomó vacación. Como ayer dijo, no está el teacher, hoy no vengo. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Ok. Escobar. Present. Raquel. Francis Galileo 
Present, sir. Jonathan. Rodrigo. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Laura. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present teacher. Uh, Mayra. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present. Zaira. Present teacher. Santos. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Diego Ernesto. Present teacher. Brian Javier. Present teacher. Ok. Los mencioné a todos, ¿cierto? Bien, los que se me están durmiendo son los que me van a dar los ejemplos más fáciles. Teacher. Zaira. Um, in, in, my, in my job, I am receptionist. You are in addition, okay. in addition uh, I am administrator. Okay. Okay, somebody else? Hey, teacher. Diego. Sí. I fix. I fix the computer in addition, make the report. Could you repeat again, please? I fix the computer in addition, make the report. In addition, I had to make the report. Okay. In addition, I had to make the report. I had, okay. I had to make the report. Sorry. I had to make the report. Okay. Okay. Somebody else. Somebody else, please. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice facturación? Oops, let me see. Facturación o oh. oh, facturar. Be billets. Come on. Billing. Yeah, billing. Billing. Okay. I should present a sales report. In addition, I could present the new procedure to billing. Could be in that way. But I remember that there is another word to say that. Let, let me remember. We started in module three, I guess. Yes, yeah, it is the most common is billing. <clears throat> yeah. Not technical, but but also maybe we can use uh, turnover. Turnover. Yeah, we can say turnover also. Turnover. Okay. Or invoicing. Mm-hmm. Procedure to invoicing is like the procedure to facture. Yep. Yes. So, yes. I should present a sales report. In addition, I could present the new procedure to invoice. 
Embracing. 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 Yes. Okay. What else? Somebody else, somebody else. Piense, 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 piense. At my job, I'm in charge of the computer lab and I have to take care of all of the devices. Ah, okay. That means that you are responsible for all the devices. Not only just to, to use the, 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 the equipment that you have there. Okay. Me teacher. I had a meeting with my supervisor the Friday in the tomorrow. In addition, I have to prepare financial report. In addition, I had to prepare to the prepare financial, financial report. Financial report. Financial report. Thank you, teacher. Ok, ok. Por ahí vamos cayendo ya en el uso de esta palabra. Somebody else, somebody else, please. Bautista. Uh, hello. Uh, I don't know for, if you want to say something. For example, uh, uh, this afternoon I made a four. In addition, I went to the bank to pay the tax. Ah, okay. Okay, somebody else? Easy, easy, easy. Teacher, Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos Rivas. Tomorrow I have to work in many reports. In addition, I have to some call, call phones. In addition? I have to some calls, phone, phone calls. In addition, I had to make a some, some funk, okay. Okay, somebody else. Hello. Okay, let us continue then with the, the material that I have. And later on, we are, you are going to give me more example about it, okay? Oops, sorry. Okay, uh, I don't know if you somebody wants to read it, and later on I'm going to read it too. Yes, teacher. Okay. All, all three adverbs can be used when try to persuade the reader or listener of some sign to make one's current argument stronger by adding additional support. However, furthermore and moreover, have a more forceful or authoritative tone that in addition and may therefore be preferred by bolstering one's argument. In the example below, the argument concerns the need to exercise more 
The second sentence gives two supporting statements for this argument. And the sentence beginning with far more gives yet another one. Okay. Okay, before, uh, before to see the example, we need to understand uh, or at least to have an idea about this paragraph. In this case, we are talking just about the sea outbreak. And, and, and it is mentioned there in order to be persuasive. Okay, all the sea outbreak can be used when trying to persuade the reader or listener of something to make one's current argument stronger by adding additional support. However, far more, furthermore, and moreover, have a more forceful of authoritative tone that in addition and may therefore be prepared for bolstering one's argument. In the example below, the argument concerned the need to exercise more. The second sentence gives to support a statement for this argument. And the sentence beginning with furthermore gives yet Another one. Okay, let us see the example in order to understand this. Okay, let, let us see it. It is clear that we all need to exercise more. Take a look at this. It is clear that we all need to exercise more. Exercise improves one strength and can reduce one risk of chronic disease. Furthermore, new evidence is suggesting that it is important for one mental fitness as well. Okay, take a look at the example. The last part is close related to the meaning at the beginning. Como se puede ver en el ejercicio, en el ejemplo, la idea última está eh, extremadamente ligada con la primera. Porque nos está diciendo que es muy claro de que todos necesitamos ej ejercitarnos más. ¿Por qué? Es lo que dice en la siguiente. El ejercicio, ¿sí? ¿Qué es lo que mejora, dice, el ejercicio? Mejora la fuerza y reduce el riesgo de enfermedades crónicas. Ah, ok. Eh, eh, traducido en buen este, salvadoreño, como quien dice, mejora el poder, ¿sí? Y reduce eh, el riesgo de enfermedades crónicas. Y luego ya aparece la palabra FADMO. Nueva evidencia. New evidence is suggesting that it is important for one mental fitness as well. Es decir, hay nuevas evidencias que sugieren que es importante también para la parte mental, ¿sí? Entonces, esta es otra forma de cómo eh, hacer uso de, también de, la, de esta palabra. Ok, now take a look uh, if you can create your own examples. But if you, okay, let us talk about furthermore first. Hablemos primero de, de, de esta palabra. 
primero eh, necesito que tengamos muy claro cuál es el significado de ella. En el español, por supuesto. Es más o además. Además. Ah, ok. Depende del diccionario donde la busquemos, porque puede tener este, puede tener más significados adicionalmente, aún más. Y dependerá del contexto, cómo nosotros le vamos a ir eh, adjudicando ese significado. Ok. Tratemos entonces de crear un ejemplo para ir viendo el funcionamiento de la palabra. Okay, tell me. Hello, hello, see. Kind of trick, no? I have one teacher. Excuse me? I have one. I, I wrote... Uh, I, I, you got one, okay, okay. Uh, you, okay. Send, you send for the more. And tell me if it is correct or not. <laughs> it says, um, I have prepared the speech about new technology. Furthermore, I will mention new websites to improve reading. Okay. The first thing that we need to see is that uh, th there is a relationship between the two ideas. Uh, because I say the speech about new technologies. Okay. And, I, and I comprehend that furthermore is like um, adding a specific or a special um, idea. In this case, it's going to be the new websites. The new website, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Because I was thinking the difference between for the more in, in addition. Ah, okay. But, exactly. but now I comprehend it better. Okay, okay. Is similar uh, in addition or what is the difference? Well, in uh, simple words, what I can say is that uh, we are going to use it in order to add more information about an idea. But in this case, for example, um, well, you can use it uh, even as, as the third one, the third word. Because I can say, for example, uh, the library uh, that is on the park is one of the best places to do research, could be in that way, okay? Furthermore- Affirm the idea. Yeah, furthermore, it has hundreds of the most respected book in the, could be in the journal, in the world, 
what I'm giving is more information about the, 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 the previous idea. The word is for the more. Pronunciation for the more. For the more. For the more. Yes. Okay. Uh, the travel agencies uh, are very important. Uh, the people like for the more. The people like fly. Okay. If you go back to the conversation where we use this word, you are going to see, let me show you here. Okay, you are going to see that uh, what we are doing is just to continue connecting information because Fernanda is talking about something previous that Moses has said that they need to discuss who will monitor in each group in the location. And, and Fernanda said, you are right because we want to find out the overall perception of the product we will go for a random sample. And Moses said, furthermore, it is necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. That means he is uh, adding something new in order that the process could be complete, you know? Okay, let us see the last word and then you are going to work in teams. In order that. Okay. But in this case, the word more, more over is the most asserting tone of the three adverbs and may suggest that what follows carries more weight than what the speaker has just said before. Okay, and I make a, a period there. Okay, entendamos entonces esa palabra que viene a ser como la más asertiva en tono de los tres adverbios que hemos eh, visto que podría sugerir que lo que continúa tiene como más peso en lo que el hablante justamente acaba de decir antes. The information in the statement may be sometimes that the speaker feel strongly about or is something that will lightly surprise the listener or make an strong impact. Additionally, the statement introduced by moreover tend to contain a different kind of information. Take a look at this. Contain a different kind of information from what has come before. Furthermore, on the other hand, simple signal, that one is about to say something that will give additional support for one argument. It may be information along the same line or it may be information of a different type. Okay, we need to take into account the last line right here. It may be information along the same lines or it be, may, it may be information of a different type. Okay, let us see the example. Who wants to read it?
Okay, and uh, I don't agree that she is overrated as a thing. Moreover, I think you're just jealous of her talent. The next one. Oh, okay. I'm not surprised either firing him. His work is substandard and his attitude is poor. Moreover, he's always late to meetings. Excuse me. Okay. In the first example that we have, I don't I don't agree that she's overrated as a singer. Moreover, I think you are just jealous of her talent. What does mean in simple words? ¿Qué sería, ¿Cuál sería el significado de esas dos expresiones en palabras simples? Try to think, please. And based in the last, um, in the last sentence that we, I think you are just jealous of her talent. What is the meaning of that? Tell me. One, one person uh, doesn't agree that uh, uh, a singer is uh, a singer have talent. Uh, that person guess the other people is jealous. I don't know if it's because of, um, of, of, of her talent, right? <clears throat> yeah, the, the the singer is the singer has talent, but there are one person who think uh, she's all right, and that person is jealous. <laughs> yes, jealous That's of her. That's right. Okay, I need that you understand what is the meaning of the word overrated. In Spanish is... Cuando se valora algo demasiado, you know. Okay. Sobrevalorado. Yes. Sí. And then for that reason, say, I don't agree that she's overrated as a singer. Moreover, I think you are jealous of her talent. I don't know if it is clear. And also you need to know exactly what is the meaning of the word moreover too, because if you don't have any idea, we need to have it. I guess that you, you already have an idea, right? In Spanish, tell me what, what do you, what do you have about these words? Hello? What is the question? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm talking about the meaning in Spanish uh, that because I need to be clear that all of you know what is the meaning. Yo no estoy de acuerdo con que ella esté sobrevalorada como una cantante. Además, yo creo que está celosa de su talento. Ah, okay, okay. Talking about the word moreover. 
Moreover, okay. En ese caso, we could say es además. Es más, perdón, I'm sorry. Sí, pero también es... podríamos decir uh, por otra parte. Sí. Ok. Ok, ok. What about the next uh, example? Who wants to read it? <clears throat> I'm not surprised they are firing him. His work is substandard and his attitude is poor. Moreover, it's always late to meetings. Okay. In Spanish, <laughs> no me sorprende que lo hayan despedido. Su trabajo es mediocre y su actitud es, tiene una pobre actitud. Es más, eh, eh, él siempre llega tarde a las reuniones. <laughs> it's a difficult sentence, you know. Because sometimes uh, when somebody asks me to, about the meaning of, of this word, substandard, I never say mediocre. I, I prefer to say bajo nivel, <laughs> you know, because sometimes. Uh, okay, maybe. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah, no, but, 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 but it's, it's good that you say it that way. Poor person. Pero está bien que lo diga en ese, en ese sentido para que se comprenda bien. Pero a veces a mí no me gusta mucho decirlo porque a veces eh, tiende como a, a, a molestar algunas veces. Pero eso es lo que, lo que debería de significar. Y tú has de decir deficiente para que no, no, no sea ofensivo quizás para, para no ofender a alguno. No sé. Acérquese un poquito más al micrófono, por favor. Get close to the, your microphone. Decir la palabra deficiente. Ah, I got it. Yeah, it could be. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Sí, porque si ya le ponemos ese calificativo, lo matamos. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is, it, uh, remember that in English, most of the word that uh, the language have go directly to the, to the point, you know? And when one word we, we could say uh, 10 in Spanish, you know? Y con una palabra en inglés podemos decir con lo que decimos de, en 10 en español. I, ahora, ahora imaginemos have... to, todo lo que menciona aquí para luego eh, ir como a rematar todo. He's over late to meet him. Ese ya sería como el colmo, ¿no? Ok. Yeah. And, and the word fighting is, it is clear, right? Imagine that somebody tell you, you are fire. <laughs> really difficult, you know? Okay, ahí les queda ese ejemplo. Háganle un screenshot para que les quede en su banco de datos. And let us read the, the number three, please. Somebody else wants to read it. Carlos. There was no way they could have won the battle. They were outnumbered by thousands of enemy troops. They were exhausted and demoralized from early fighting. Furthermore, they were insufficient army. Ah, okay. La última expresión, they were insufficiently armed. Le está diciendo que le está dando como luces sobre lo que sucedió anteriormente. ¿Sí? No tenían suficiente armamento. ¿Sí? Por lo tanto, 
there was no way they could have won the battle. These examples are very clear. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here because uh, after this, we need to go back to the material and, and start working on some activities. No question. No, no question. question. Okay, go back to the material. Let me see where I had the book here. I got it here. Okay. Okay, now what we need to do is this. Okay, in the exercise five, you are going to write down uh, a 10 line paragraph about the advantages and disadvantages of implementing a focus group. We already talked about what is that to test a product. And we are going to use transition of addition in the following advantage and disadvantage below. And you have it there. You are going to have it in order to help you. For example, when we talk about disadvantages, not enough stereotype in the selected audience, now considering that the participants are part of the target language, or could be a dominant personality within the group. You are going to use uh, this expression in your, in your paragraph. And when we talk about advantages, you are going to use relatively inexpensive, a variety of opinions, accurate and ambitious opinions. And in that way, you are going to create your, your paragraph. Uh, I guess that in this case, you are going to work uh, alone in order that you can have your better uh, ideas. And let me refresh your memory because maybe you have forgotten what is a focus group. And we saw it in the conversation that we have here. Do you remember we talk about this? And, uh, and we discuss it also uh, at the beginning of the previous class, because I ask you if you have heard about the term focus group. And just what I needed that you try to remember it. Okay, try to, uh, we are going to, to start writing uh, your paragraph and has to be based in, uh, in a focus group, maybe in your job could be related with that. But uh, everything has to be related with the test a product, okay? Okay, question. If you have question, just let me know now because. Teacher, uh, if don't a product maybe has a service? Mm, I guess it's going to be better in, in a product. <laughs> in my okay, office, we press in service. Ah, okay. I, I, I got your point. Okay, but first of all, that you uh, start doing the paragraph. Let, let, I need that you see something. Let me see if we have enough time. I guess it's long, just two minutes. Let me see. Hold on a second. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to share with you a link and you are going to watch it by yourself because we, don't, we can do it right here. I need that you take a look at the following video and then we are going to talk a little bit or it's going to help you to create your, your paragraph, okay? Tell me if okay. you can tell me if you can see it now. In WhatsApp. It's or there. Here. It is in the shop right here. Do you see it? No. No? No. My goodness, it's there in the shop. Send a chat. Can you see it or not? No, in the chat it's not there. I have, or I have it there. Okay, let, let, let me do it uh, in the WhatsApp. But is the same the um, the book? Yeah, it is the same that you got in the book. Yeah, I'm talking about the material, right? I have the material. Ah, okay. I need that you see the 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 second one first. The second, okay. Service or product? Yeah, the second one. I'm going to put it in the in the WhatsApp group. I guess it's gonna be better for you in order to have it. Let me see what I don't know what is happening here in my I can use it in my computer. Is a smartphone. I don't know why I can open it. My phone is not working. I don't know why. I need to switch the internet service because I got two. Different one. Okay, here we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Hold in a second, please. I got it here. What is it? Okay. Take a look at that. And at the end, uh, as soon as you watch bosses, then you are going to laugh. Mm.
As soon as you watch the third one, go to the, to the second one. I know why you are laughing. Did you finish? Not yet. Finish. To see the videos. Diego? Finish to see the videos, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm going to stop watching. And I would like to hear what you can tell me about the both videos talking about focus group and why I I told you to to see the the first one. Just tell me. Of course, today we are we are not going to have enough time in order that you can write your paragraph, but you can do it if you have time in your home maybe tomorrow morning or well it's up to you you know but i would like to hear you talking about these two videos what can you tell me about it teacher carlos i saw the second video about the experience and the focus group was a uh, at three years uh, the video show uh, the frog, a little frog, and wow. the three gears uh, take a, a video, and the video show the experience uh, with the a smartphone. And the focus group is the the gears, a little gears. Okay, and. Did they follow the interaction exactly what the the person in in charge was telling them? Okay, I, I, I want... think the idea is for two groups. Mm, furthermore. Uh, seniors and child 
is intuitive experience. Um, the third don't say instruction. Okay. Talk about, uh, about the three little girls. What can you tell me? What happened? And what happened in, in, in the junior group? One, one, one girl changed his cell phone for the other the better. Deja eso si vas a hacer lavarte los dientes, deja el juego. Lo puedes botar. Ok, Carlos, Ay, ya te entendí. <risa> sí, porque si no, no nos vamos a lavar los dientes. Ok, Carlos. Sorry. <risa> Okay, okay. In a general way, I, I need that somebody tell me uh, the general ideas about the two videos. What happened in the first one? I, I, I would like to hear you. ¿Qué es lo que pasó en el primer video? Change their phone. Change. Yeah, but talking about the 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 reaction of, of the of the old man. Actually, they can handle the the, the device. Okay. It was really difficult. And at the moment that the instructor say, "Okay, uh, take a picture," and pointing something like that, the... what happened there? Actually, they they were pointing with the device. They were using the the camera. <laughs> yeah yeah and, and actually that's that's what companies are looking for that type of details how hard could be to sell cell phones to those type of ages okay so they maybe will take um for example uh that issue to make easier for all people take a picture maybe with a gesture or with an extra bottle for the okay. futures models. Okay, but but in, in 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 the two videos, you can see that they have uh, just uh, two different focus group in order to show people uh, how to handle different kind of cell phone, right? Okay, based on that, uh, you are going to have time in order to create to write down your paragraph and you can read it tomorrow. Don't worry about that because right now we are so close to finish. Uh, I don't know if you have any questions apart from here. No question? No, okay, let me check out the attendance now. And I invite you to, to watch the videos over and over until you can get uh, all the information. Les invito a ver el video las veces que sean necesarias para poder comprender el mensaje que tiene, que es muy importante. Y basado en los dos videos ya podemos tener una idea más clara de lo que son los Facus Group. Eh, cuando se trata de, de hacer una evaluación de X producto. En este caso fueron diferentes modelos de teléfono. ¿Cierto? Y que algunas veces nos puede suceder incluso eh, hasta para cómo encender un teléfono que no le encontramos ninguna, eh, como decimos comúnmente, ni, ni, ningún botón para poder encenderlo y entonces algunas veces y cómo se enciende, cómo se apaga. Entonces es, es muy importante, ¿no?
Okay, hold on, because I need to weigh the pace. I got it here. I got it here, okay. <clears throat> Ok, así rapidito antes de irnos, eh, como vieron hoy en el chat, les apareció eh, una nota donde les eh, recuerdan que es necesario para hacer la inscripción del siguiente módulo estar, llevar una buena, eh, un buen desempeño en relación a las tareas de la plataforma y así también en la asistencia. Eso es muy importante que tomemos en cuenta la asistencia. A estas alturas, imagino ya todos deben de saber eh, cuántas veces puede fallar y, y mantenerse en ese límite, ¿no? Aunque no debería, pero siempre hay circunstancias que no nos permiten. Y la otra es estar siempre atentos con eh, las actividades de la plataforma. Acordémonos que es, es, es parte de su récord. Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz. No llegó. Ana Lilian. Bautista. Present teacher. Escobar. Present. Claudia. Present. Francis. Galileo. Present, sir. Jonathan. Rodrigo. Juan Carlos. Present. Laura. Present, teacher. María. Present. María Elena. Present. Mayra Veralice. Present. Miguel Ángel. Present. Zaira. Present, teacher. Santos. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Jenny. Present teacher. Ajá. Yesenia Lisset. Diego. Present teacher. Brian Javier. Brian Javier, okay, Laura Carolina, it's your turn. Uh, you had 10 minutes today in order to ask question. If you have question, uh, I would like to be sure that you are going to stay at the end of the class. Okay, teacher. Okie dokie, thank you very much for being part of this class today. I know that sometimes it really uh, hard because we had to work a lot the whole days and we need to continue being sitting two hours in front of was your computer, but that is the way that we need to follow in order to get our goals. Okay, good night. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care. Good and tomorrow. don't forget to go good to the platform and respond. God bless you. God bless you too. Okay, bye. Bye bye. -bye. bye. Okay, Laura Carolina. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. I would like to hear if you have any questions so far from here. Hi, teacher. Si tiene algunas preguntas, eh, algo que quiera mencionar, pues estamos a la orden. Okay, thank you, teacher. Este, bueno, la verdad que eh, yo sé que usted habla fluidamente el inglés y todo lo demás. Tal vez este nivel lo siento un poco <risa> difícil. <risa> o, sí. Bueno, difícil, pero sí logro entender la, las, las cosas que, bueno, cuando relaciona el libro y las clases o la manera de cómo da la clase, ¿verdad? Pero este, como venía acostumbrada en los otros módulos a, a ¿cómo le dijera? Hacer como un poco más interactiva en el sentido, en el sentido de hacernos a la fuerza que, que, que digamos una oración, por decir algo. Sí. No que salga de voluntad propia, sino que Laura diga tal cosa o, 
Brian eh, decir tal cosa, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, y oraciones así cortas, eh, pero eh, en cuanto al, bueno, yo sé que es su metodología, que si estamos en un nivel avanzado, pero yo me siento un poco deficiente, <risa> porque me cuesta mucho eh, pronunciación y también este... Eh, hay veces pongo oído, ¿verdad? Cómo pronuncia y todo lo demás, pero como, como es cuestión de práctica el inglés, ¿verdad? Sí. Tal vez ahí falla un poco. Lo que, pero... sucede, lo que sucede es lo siguiente. Uh -huh. Que eh, acordémonos que ya este ya es un nivel intermedio. Sí, por eso me aflige. <risa> Sí. Entonces, que voy a llegar a otro y, y, y me siento como quizás como en el básico en el básico normal digamos. no, no, pero lo, lo que sucede es que como que ya en el nivel intermedio es un poco más extenso sí, así veo y más que todo está enfocado, como está enfocado en el trabajo, eh, esa parte la entiendo igual pues todo lo que estamos viendo en esta guía de, sobre marketing así es, eh, diseño productos y todo eso Sí. Eh, otras estrategias, ¿verdad? Que sí. se, y otras palabras que se usan. Y como mi área es más contable que, que saber un poco, aunque uno como profesional tiene experiencia, ¿verdad? Y conoce Así un es. poco. Así Entonces, es. pero eh, ahí trato de adaptarme, Ticha. <risa> Hay veces no comento porque me siento así que dijo, <risa> que pronuncié hecho, pero cuando sí, pero... nos da la clase y nos da esos otros, como le dijera. Eh, yo soy como un poco más de la lectura, digamos, ah, y okay. tratar de, de traducir la palabra, la, una que no entienda de una frase u oración, eh, porque de buenas a primeras uno entiende y, y relaciona, ¿verdad? La oración en sí. Así es. Pero alguna palabra que no entiendo, este siempre estoy escribiendo así aparte para, para completar, digamos, la, la oración y sí voy copiando los screens de las presentaciones que, ah, okay. que nos Excelente. ha dado. Uh -huh. sí, porque... Entonces, yo prácticamente, digamos, practico sola, digamos, el inglés o escuchando audio, digamos, de frases cortas para después relacionar, ¿verdad? Porque okay. sé que eh, el enfoque es distinto aquí en inglés corporativo en sí, ya sobre como, como profesionales en X área, ¿verdad? Así es. Uh -huh. Sí, pero lo contrario eh, está bien como, como de la clase y sí entiendo eso, lo único que es full inglés le iba a decir y, y yo estoy a media, digo yo, ¿verdad? Pero, pero, pero y en las anteriores eh, no les hablaban solo inglés. Eh, es que sí nos hablaban inglés y seguían la metodología del libro, así como los deja que hacer grupos, que las tareas hacíamos presentaciones, así como nos ha, hemos hecho con usted también algunas. Eh, pero nos daban un poco más de tiempo para desarrollar, digamos, esas presentaciones. Más que todo fue de, 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 de Bakery, que era restaurantes, el módulo anterior que estuvimos. Y sí, sentí que aprendí varias palabras y todo lo demás respecto al área de restaurantes, digamos. Ah, ok. Hacer planes de diseño, este, los schedules, eh, cronogramas, digamos, de trabajo de los empleados. Y como pedir pequeñas cosas estando en un okay. reservar en un restaurante. Ya sí, esta ya, área ya, ya es estilo. Ya en este módulo, ya es más que todo en la parte de la evaluación del producto. Uh -huh, de lanzamiento, hacer como pruebas antes de. Sí, así es. Por eso que comenzamos con el swap análisis. Si se uh -huh. recuerda, comenzamos con el swap sí. análisis. Ajá. Y después comenzamos ya a ver. Eh, un vocabulario relacionado con los diferentes eh, test que se hacen para, para saber si ajá, el producto ajá. va a tener éxito o no. Sí, en esa parte también la desarrollé en el libro. Este, sí le entendí la parte de que uno tenía que buscar el, el concepto porque en el libro no está, ¿verdad? Para relacionar. Sí, que sí yo pero, recuerdo pero que ya, luego, eh, ya luego en la siguiente clase yo me recuerdo que les di ya más específico y más amplio cada uno de los significados sí, de, lo, de, de, los de cada concepto. Ajá. Sí, comparamos la tarea, o sea, resuelta ya en el, en el libro. Y sí me equivoqué como en dos que dudaba, pero realmente este, entiendo, digamos, o sea, leyendo, ¿verdad? Así poco a poco, pero la fluidez que tiene es la que, la que un poco me pone así. Eh, no, pero cuando... Yo trato de poner oído, sí. fíjese, sí, pero, pero cuando, siento que lo, cuando... habla, lo habla muy fluido, teacher. Sí, muy rápido. La, eso, eso es lo que quiero decirle, 
que cuando sienta que estoy yendo muy, muy así rápido, eh, me avise y me diga, slow, teacher, slow. Sí, bueno, porque, porque pero ahorita... Pero se trata de comprender. Sí, pero yo creo que al final le va a ayudar porque eh, cuando ya pueda oír alguna conversación así rápida, se va, va a asociar sí, rapidito. Por, por la, ajá, por las por, palabras. Porque el oído se va adaptando, ¿no? Sí, y eso es lo que recomiendan, Teacher Ver, y, y aunque uno no entienda desde el inicio, tres o cuatro palabras que me dice, o sea, <risa> las cacto, digamos, las más conocidas, y así es como uno se le va que, quedando, digamos, este, las frases, digamos. Pero así. me cuesta a la hora de pronunciar y a la hora de querer dar la idea, digamos. Porque sí, pero lo más importante es que trate, trate siempre de, 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 sí, de, 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 estar... de, de lanzar la idea para luego ay le ayudamos a ordenar. La, ajá, ordenar. Sí, porque realmente en lo que explica de la clase todo lo demás, este, eh, no siento que no me pierdo, pues, este, y también me apoyo en el libro cuando usted está, okay. este, para llevar una secuencia, pues no tiene sí. mucho, a, o sea, sí entiendo lo que está hablando. Ah, ok, perfecto, me gusta. Ok, eh, sí, y, con, ahí... y con las tareas en la, en la plataforma, ¿cómo va? Fíjese que yo avancé, no me acuerdo, la el jueves pasado creo que avancé hasta el capítulo 2, pero ahorita tengo que seguir, ver a dónde me quedé, yo creo que ya llegué, que iba a llegar a la, a la tarea, a, a, al área 3, pero me quedé antes. Pero okay. como le digo que las tareas como se complementan con el libro, algo que yo no sé en la plataforma, recuerdo siempre que lo veo en el libro, eh, algunas frases o algo para completar lo de, lo de, ah, okay. lo de las tareas en la plataforma. Así es como he logrado ir, ir rellenando, porque como le digo, pues este, me apoyo siempre en, en un diccionario también para buscar frases y todo okay. eso. And so suddenly, go, at, the, at the moment that you go to the platform and you mm -hmm. don't understand... Uh, Maybe an exercise, uh, you can go back and watch the video. Si, si de repente se va a la plataforma, encuentra algún ejercicio que no encuentra cómo, váyase a ver el ejercicio de esa clase, eh, el, perdón, el video de esa clase. Sí, así y, es, que eh, quedan grabados. Y por ahí encuentra dónde está la explicación y usted dice, aquí está, esto es lo que necesitaba. Sí, ajá. Eh, pero sí, yo, yo le agradezco pues, porque realmente yo sé que sí en este nivel tiene que ser full inglés. Ahora yo, yo trato de hacerlo como, como light, pero alguna ah, vez... Ay, no, se siente un poco rápido, Ticha, como que es avanzado. <risa> y, yo, y yo digo, de eso solo entendí yesterday cuando está hablando de lo que vimos ayer o recuerdan tal, o remember tal cosa, ¿verdad? Pero yo me quedo añadiendo las, las palabras, o sea, la oración que, que ha dicho. Ah, ok. Tal vez en eso un poco más. más ok, de pero paz, sí, de eh, gracias por decirlo. Uh -huh. uh, voy a tratar de, de, de bajarle. Así como, como comúnmente se dice un par de rayitas para, para hacer las cosas. Sí, porque, más bueno, o usted, no, ajá, o usted no está evaluando, pues porque estamos varios que venimos de los otros niveles, que hay varios que estamos, hemos crecido juntos, digamos, por decir algo. Ah, okay. no hemos ido. Entonces veníamos acostumbrados a una manera como más suave, quizás, de de trabajo, digamos. Ah, okay. Sí, desarrollamos toda la plataforma y todo lo demás. Y siempre, como le digo, nunca pedían de que un de uno saliera. Usted dice que alguien más, vea, cuando dice que sí. alguien más diga o se ponga. Eh, no, ahí a la fuerza nos decía fulana y fulana, lea. Sí. Porque si no los demás por pena, como usted dice, hay veces no, no lo hacemos. Yo a veces me pongo a repetir todas las conversaciones cuando están todos, pero sin decirla sí, pero, al aire. Pero, sí, pero sin decirla ya, al aire. Le... Ya en este nivel... Es como, como que uno, además de desarrollar el idioma, también tiene que desarrollar la voluntad de, sí. de, de poderse lanzar. Y eso es lo que yo aprende. busco, que cada uno de ustedes dé ese ah. paso que es el necesario en el proceso. Uh -huh. Ay, sí, pero como somos tantos teachers que todos quieren. Sí, pero, pero, pero para todos hay oportunidad que puedan Sí, este, no, participar. yo sé, cuando, cuando hay así, eh, me pongo a, a hacer las, las preguntas o algo para, para estar lista cuando pregunte, digo yo, pero a ah, veces okay. no me animo, teacher. Okay. Pero sí, en lo que cabe, teacher, eh, sí, estamos, estamos bien, digamos, estoy, estoy bien con cómo está dando la clase, la única parte es esa, la, la rapidez, digamos, con qué okay. habla. 
Okay. Tendría and, que un poquito más despacito. Okay, uh, I don't know if we have uh, any question about any topic or something like that, but everything is so clear. Yes. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta eh, de algún tema que le quedó por ahí que no se comprendió. Bueno, lo que estamos viendo de estas transition world teacher, eh, eh, como vamos por partes ahorita, ¿verdad? Eh, Así es. Siento que me quedó claro, digamos. Lo, lo, sí, lo y usted todo, puede ¿verdad? crear su parrafito en forma... Eh, clara, breve, y sí, ya el día de mañana correcto. usted lo puede leer y le hacemos las correcciones. Uh -huh. Sí, yo así he estado escribiendo y todo lo demás, igual este, las partes, digamos, de, de los procesos del, 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 de las encuestas, digamos, de los, de los, del grow enfoque, enfoque ¿eh? de, de los grupos de enfoque, ¿verdad? Que okay. estamos viendo sí. eso. Sí, por eh, eso fue que también les invité a que vieran esos dos videos para que se dieran cuenta de, de la diferencia entre, entre las niñas y, y, y los adultos. Y lo, sí, de, de tomar la foto de cama, de cama la, la cámara del, del teléfono era la, la excepcional, es, sí. teacher. pero sí, no, pude incluso, decirlo, no pude decirlo en inglés. Sí, incluso sí. Este, sí, se notó en las niñas que toman una fotografía de, 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 de una ranita que andaba por sí, ahí. Sí, de frog, frog. Es que algunas palabras, como le digo, y siendo niñas, bien se desenvuelven y uno tan penoso, digo yo, así para, no, para no, contestar. No, pero no, no, no era el objetivo ese, sino, mm. sino demostrar la diferencia de, lo, de los grupos de enfoque. Sí, yo sí. sé, dicho. Estaba Ok, bien. me alegra sí, entonces. Solamente. Así que happy. voy a seguirle poniendo ganas, como dicen. Ok. Don't okay, give up. Teacher. Don't give up. No se dé por vencida y let's continue. Ah, no, teacher. Ay, me va a ver en el siguiente, aunque sea ahí, pero va a estar de oyente. Okay, <laughs> por eso okay. no abandono, teacher. Ok. Thank you, teacher, por okay, su tiempo. Ok, you're welcome. <laughs> ok, okay you're good good night. I hope to see you tomorrow, right? See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.